how would you define the tetris effect on you uh well suppose it i suppose the tetris effect only comes when you're obsessed with a game yeah um and i i wasn't really obsessed with the game there is a thing called the tetris effect when you get obsessed with this game and you start seeing these shapes falling in your real life yeah you start compartmentalizing and things start to move yeah i've never experienced that before because i've never played the game so much so because i didn't get involved in this film because of the game itself. What exactly has been the most interesting fact for you while working on the film and also if you could share what's been the most um formidable aspect of uh, making this film the most challenging part was um uh, the car chase that we did um at the it towards the end of the film because it's a two and a half minute car chase through the center of moscow set in the 1980s and we couldn't go to moscow um because it was pandemic and we probably couldn't have gone to moscow anyway because it's it's not very sort of uh, easy to film there um so doing that car chase was we did it all in cgi the whole thing was cgi yeah which is an incredible undertaking if you think you know you 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 don't put the camera outside the car once you know it's just literally it's all built on a computer so i think that the heart of the film it's it's a film about friendship yeah it's a film it's a film about how these two completely different people end up being lifelong friends yeah um through this backdrop of east versus west and communism versus capitalism and and everything else that, that that goes along with it you know i i i think the most captivating thing for me is the fact that of of the, the friendship that comes up that comes around because of that you know hi this is divya from sera news 18 thank you for your time really appreciate it thank you Let's begin this conversation with the most important question. <laughs> How good are you when it comes to playing Tetris? Are you an average player or good enough to compete really competitively? No, I'm terrible. Um yeah, I'm I'm not a very good pl Tetris player. I'm better than I was before. I was even more terrible uh, before I got uh, involved in the in the uh, in the film. But no, I'm okay. I'm okay. I I I would say it's probably average, I think. But uh, when I when I decided to do the film, I um I started to play more, so I've got slightly better over over the last few months. There's a section that loves to play chess. In fact, there was also a phase when checkers were you know finding several takers, and of course, card games was equally popular. And then came Tetris. How would you define the Tetris effect on you? Uh. Well, suppose it, I suppose the Tetris effect only comes when you're obsessed with a game, yeah. Um, and I, I wasn't really obsessed with the game. There is a thing called the Tetris effect when you get obsessed with this game and you start seeing these shapes falling in your real life, yeah. You start compartmentalizing and things start to move, yeah. I've never experienced that before because I've never played the game so much. So because I didn't get involved in this film because of the game itself, I got in. Involved with the film because of the backdrop to the story and the fact it was a buddy movie as well, you know. So I'm probably not qualified to talk about the actual Tetris effect, although I do know what it is. You know, everybody has been talking about uh, the backstory of uh, Tetris, and you have only helped us uh, get aware of many, many facts that most of us were not even aware of through your film, Tetris. Now I wanted to understand that what exactly has been the most interesting fact for you while working on the film and also if you could share what's been the most um formidable aspect of uh, making this film The most challenging part was um uh, the car chase that we did um at the it towards the end of the film because it's a two and a half minute car chase through the center of moscow set in the 1980s and we couldn't go to moscow um because it was pandemic and we probably couldn't have gone to moscow anyway because it's it's not very sort of uh, easy to film there um so doing that car chase was we, we did it all in cgi the whole thing was cgi yeah which is an incredible undertaking if you think you know you 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 don't put the camera outside the car once you know it's just literally it's all built on a computer so that was a big challenge for me cuz i'd never done a lot of big cgi stuff before um the most interesting aspect of the film to me was 
just purely the fact that um, how this one guy, you know, want, risked everything to go, you know, and put his life on the line to get something that was totally unproven. You know, that's I still can't really appreciate that. A lot of viewers uh, who watch the film have actually appreciated it because uh, here's a story that's rife uh, with handshake deals, industry rivalries, and of course, really tense negotiations between Western executives and Soviet officials. What, according to you, would really make uh, the film Tetris even more interesting and more captivating to the viewers? Yeah, I mean th that's definitely a part of the a, a part of it. But I think at the heart of the film, it's it's a film about friendship. Yeah, it's a film. It's a film about how these two completely different people end up being lifelong friends. Yeah, um, through this backdrop of East versus West and communism versus capitalism and and everything else that that, that goes along with it. You know, I, I I think the most captivating thing. For me, is the fact that of of the, the friendship that comes up, that comes around because of that. You know. Thank you so much, John, for joining us today and for sharing your thoughts on the movie Tetris. Thank you very much.